what's up guys it's matt from school buses and today we're doing videos on battlefield 5 combat roles all this information has been dropped today for roles such as the the assault class the support class the sniper class and the medic class this is the sniper class this also has two combat roles so for the combat roles on the sniper class is a pathfinder trait and the sniper base trait for the sniper base traits you have steady hands and expert marksman for steady hands basically you're looking down the site but for a longer period of time you can hold your breath longer this is basically pressing r3 but if you're using other traits or other combat roles you're not going to look down it longer well you're going to obviously look down longer but you're going to be swaying all over the shop for the expert marksman your steady duration will partially be replenished after each headshot, so basically when you get a headshot on someone, you've got your steady aim back straight away. So bang, you're not swaying. You just steady aim all the time, like bam, 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 getting them proper shots in. So that's probably good for quick scoping or long sniping. So for the Pathfinder traits, you've got Advanced Scouting and Vanguard. Advanced Scouting is basically you're spawning on other squad leaders not your own other squad leaders or other squad beacons so basically when you know get somewhere else and your squad's like in the battlefield you can jump on other squad leaders and go further out of the map and snipe or long range or get flanking with a quick scope vanguard is you gain additional squad points for when someone spawns on your squad beacons that could be anyone from other squad squad teams because they've got traits there they can spawn on you like the assault class one of them can spawn on that or the sniper one because they can spawn on that as well as we j just talked about the advanced scouting